my name's Kate Alexander and I'm the Venue Manager of MCA at Melbourne Olympic Parks. My name's Alicia Rodas and I'm the Business Development Manager at Melbourne and Olympic Parks. I've been working for Melbourne Olympic Parks for just over eight years, just had my eight year anniversary last week. Congrats. <laughs> I actually started my career over at Amy Park in the event administrator role. About three years ago, I actually moved over into MCA and took on the venue manager role here. I'm actually a lawyer and after working in private practice, I moved in house. I work very closely with all of the players in the industry, the agents, the artists, the managers, the promoters. What I learned was that relationships really are the foundation of the industry. Part of my responsibility is sourcing content for the precinct. Essentially, the new leads come through me. I then contract that event and then I hand it over to Kate and her team to deliver and execute. From an operational perspective, there's a lot that goes into setting up the venue from a, both a production, a cleaning, a venue setup, catering, merchandise. We have a lot of really key stakeholders who we really need to make sure are all on point and you know, putting our best foot forward to give our hirers and guests the best possible experience when they come on site. The versatility of the space, the fact that we can accommodate anywhere from 2,500 to 7,000 guests means that we can really tailor the venue to suit the artist and where they're at in their career and support their growth. It may be that an artist performs at MCA a couple of times before they take that next step within the precinct to the larger venues and each time we deliver a new and fresh experience for them. We do a lot of work with our guests in finding out what are their expectations when they come to a venue. We looked at all gender bathrooms and really being a bit more inclusive for our guests. My name is Sam Shaw. I'm the general manager of Secret Sounds Touring and I've been at Secret Sounds for eight years now. Sam Shaw is a friend of Melbourne Olympic Parks. He's just a really fun, engaging guy. Secret Sounds have been big proponents of MCA. I think in 2019, they staged the most shows in this venue. They're very much about bringing in these emerging acts. So we've kind of developed this magic formula, I guess. I love working with Melbourne Olympic Parks Trust. They're always going the extra mile in making our artists feel comfortable. Nothing's ever too hard. They've opened the roof at MCA for us before for Block Party to play. It's just really good to have a team that always say yes, always help as much as they can. The unique thing about Melbourne Olympic Parks is that we have a lot of toys that we can play with. When an artist does return time and time again, we want it to feel like home for them. So we're able to give them really unique experiences. There have been times where an artist has requested to go out and play on the show court and have their Roger Federer moment. And we're able to deliver that experience for them. MCA really is the venue in which you cut your teeth as an artist, as a promoter, as an entertainment industry professional. It really is a gateway to learning what it's like to work at arena level. Fans love coming here. Artists love playing at MCA as well. The facilities are incredible. It's a new venue. I think the atmosphere within MCA is amazing because of the tiered seating. It's essentially a small arena and there's, it's really unique. There's not many venues this size with, with the rake seating going up like that and for an artist to come out on stage here. MCA really is the home of emerging acts. So in terms of Australian acts that have taken that next step, we've had Amy Shark, Amy Shark, Vance Joy, Troy Savan, Delta Goodrum. We promoted Tash Sultan here when she holds a record as an Australian artist for the most tickets sold to a single show here. I think it's a really rewarding experience to be part of that journey with the artist and their team. To see them finally come to MCA and then their star continue to rise. Yeah, to be a part of an artist's journey from the very beginning is also really important and really special for us to be able to sort of almost feel like we're contributing to their, you know, to their growth and success and makes it all that a little bit more exciting and enjoyable as well. Most of the times when artists are playing MCA for the first time, it's a pinch yourself moment and the family are all backstage together for the first time. A lot of them have never thought they'd get to this level, so when they get to play and come out on this stage, it's a real moment for them. I guess one of the benefits of MCA is, is our flexibility and our ability to change the venue, not into different modes, but into different setups for the, both the artists and our guests. Recently, we actually had the Australian Ballet. Australian Ballet was scheduled to occur straight after the Australian Open. There was certainly a lot of stakeholder management to ensure that the transition out of tennis into ballet was as seamless as possible. 
Not only is the versatility within the bowl, but it's in fact the whole venue. We really have a blank canvas here at MCA where we're open to trying new things and experimenting and curating experiences that, such that no event is the same. Absolutely. Yeah.